Microsoft have changed the macro security settings for Excel and the other Office apps. In this video, I will show you what the changes are and how you can adjust them to make your working environment safer and more efficient. When you open up your Excel file, you will see a new notice. It is in a pinkish color and it says with a big cross security risk, Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted. So this is a step up in security, macro security from Microsoft. There is no way to dismiss this new security setting from within Excel. So there is not much chance that you're going to accidentally allow macros. However, if you do want macros to run, you do have two options. Trusted macros from trusted files and trusted macros from trusted sources. So if you just want to allow a macro, you only work with a small number of files, you can allow each macro individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down this file. I'm not going to make any saving saves, but I'm going to go on to the icon. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to look, click on properties. So we've got here the usual properties, but you'll notice if you scroll down to the bottom here, there is a new one that says security. This file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. And you have a checkbox that says unblock. Well, you can click unblock, apply and OK. Now that is not particularly difficult to do and it is very worth doing on a file by file basis if you only use a handful of files. So I'll show you what happens now if we open this one. So it is reopened. We've still got a macro warning sign, but this time instead of having a cross, if you can look over here, we have an exclamation mark. So security warning, macros have been disabled. Now this comes from the macro settings that I have made. And I have said that all files containing macros need to open with a warning. So if I want to use macros in this particular file, I need to click enable content, which I have done. And now macros will work exactly as they did previously. However, you may work with lots of different macro enabled files and you may find this approach a bit of a pain. So there is another thing that you can do, and that is to go into your internet settings. If you remember that bar said that this file come from, came, comes from an untrusted source. So what you need to do is make the source trusted. So if you go into your internet properties and given the example here, obviously using Windows, I'm going to get a new tab here. I'll bring it to the front and it says general security. Now, if I want to allow a trusted site, I need to click on here. And I need to click add a website to this zone. So I'm going to add a website. And this is the website where my files come from. I'm going to click it in here, put the full URL in here, and I'm going to click add. And it is now added here. Full HTTPS URL is included in here. I'm going to close this, click OK now. And I go to this particular site. And I click on the file to download it, it will automatically allow macros from this site to or files containing macros from this site to open without the additional security warning. For any other file, file from any other site, you will still have to go through the same process, which is good. So the Microsoft security process is working, but it is a small change. It doesn't take very long and it is worth doing if you're getting multiple files from the same trusted site. Now, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to this channel for using Excel, in particular for using Excel to backtest trading strategies to understand the financial markets. And for more information about trading the financial markets, please go to tradeinformed.com.